Our universe is 15 billion light years across, filled with billions of galaxies, and is astonishingly deep and complex. But 500 years ago, this was our universe. We knew of only three of the seven continents, and yet it was still incredibly deep and complex. There are some who argue that the scientific revelation of the last 500 years has destroyed man's relationship with religion. Others say that they are both compatible. Hello. During this video, we will be exploring the ideas surrounding the question, are religion and science compatible? Vicky and Matilda will be discussing attitudes towards science throughout history. Then people will interview youth leader Ben Dale. And Andrew will be looking at the religiosity scale by Professor Richard Dawkins. Aaron and Max will be discussing modern views on this question. And finally, Erin will be talking about <laughs> onions. The aim of this video is to stimulate your thoughts to allow you to make your own decision. In the past, many scientific discoveries have been restricted by religion. During the scientific revolution, many people were killed for expressing their scientific views. Galileo Galilei, in the 15th century, discovered such things as heliocentric theory, the Galilean moons, and proved the telescope. His beliefs were disregarded by the Catholic Church and his discoveries were put to a halt. The Pope put him on trial for suspect of heresy. Galileo's theories were said to be scientifically false and that he had to publicly announce that his views were wrong. This he did, promising to teach it no more. We now know that Galileo's work was all true and, as, and has been described as the birth of modern science. But importantly in a modern world, scientists are now treated with respect and views are listened to. The question is, are religious people treated with the same level of respect? Hi, my name is Ben Dale. I'm on the youth leader at St Peter's Church in Maidenhead. I've been the youth worker there for about five years now. And I'm going to be doing this debate from the point of view of Christianity and what uh, we feel is still relevant about the religion in today's society and the fact that science and religion are perfectly compatible. So, on the scale of religiosity, where would you place yourself? I definitely place myself at a, a seven. I believe 100% in God. Um, I don't think that means I don't have it, have questions about God or don't understand certain things about God. But what I do know is I definitely believe that He's there. He exists, and uh, I believe in Him. So, do you think that science and religion are compatible, or do you think they're in opposition? I think that uh, people would like to paint them in opposition. People would like to say that that they can't coexist, but I think that they definitely can coexist. I've got a number of friends who are Christians and scientists uh, and don't see that there's a kind of a, a coming together of those things in, in a negative way. I'd say they do work together. I think sometimes one can answer the questions that the other one can't, and in that way I think they work very well together and giving us a better understanding of who we are and what we're about. But for example, religion and science clash on the theories of evolution and creation. What are, your, what are your views on that? Uh, well, that's a pretty big question to be able to answer um, simply, but uh, one idea would be that um, when the Bible talks about creation, um, it gives the creation story, and some people believe it talks about creation in six literal days. So on day one, this happened, on day two, this happened, on day three, this happened. But um, another way of looking at it and another way of understanding what the Bible is saying there is not to take it literally, but take it figuratively. So the, the first day uh, can also be understood as a period of time. So in the Bible, for example, it says that to, to God, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. So it could be any period of time. And miracles, are they real or are they just sheer coincidence? Uh, miracles I definitely believe exist. I've kind of uh, seen miracles in my own life um, and in lives and friends of people around me. Um, I think science is quick to write off. Uh, miracles is quick to say that if there's no logical explanation for it then it must be in someone's mind 
Uh, but I think if you're in an environment where you see and hear of miracles all the time, then uh, you're less likely just to write them off as nonsense. So do you think eventually the one could outweigh the other? I think religion and science ask and answer different questions. So science will ask the question of, of how does something come about or how, or how. But religion asks and answers the question of why, a question that science can't answer. And uh, so in some senses, I don't think one will win out over the other. I think they're just looking at answering different things and going in different directions. Uh, religion, I believe, is the only thing that can answer why. Why are we here in the first place? What is the meaning of life? Uh, why were we created? Um, and what, what's the point of it all? Science can't answer that. It might be able to answer how, it might be able to answer when, but it can't answer why. Thanks, Ben. Okay. Pippa mentioned Richard Dawkins' scale of religiosity. The idea is that it's a bar with atheist at one end and theist at the other, with everything in between, well, in between. Depending on how much you believe in God depends what number you are. One, for example, means that you're a strong theist believing in God 100%. Two is not quite so sure but still believes there's a high probability of God's existence. Three means uncertain, closer to the 50% mark. Four is in the middle, there's an equal probability that God exists, as there is that he doesn't. Five is sceptical, with less than a 50% chance of God's existence. Six means you're pretty sure that there is no God, but still not certain while seven means that you are an atheist and don't believe in any god of any sort. On the scale of religiosity, where would you place yourself? I'd say I was a five in that I believe there is something out there controlling the universe, but I don't think it's anything to do with organised religion. Do you think science and religion are compatible or are they in opposition? I think our society proves that religion and science are compatible because most people believe in a god, but they also understand the universe in a scientific way, that they understand how the world works through science. And miracles, are they real or just sheer coincidence? I think that there are lots of things that we can't explain, but just because we can't explain them doesn't mean there isn't a scientific explanation. And do you think that eventually one could outweigh the other? Yeah, I believe that sooner or later we will get to the core of whether there is a scientific or a religious explanation for the universe. And my belief is that it will be a scientific rather than a religious one. Thank you. I think that aside from the core beliefs, religion and science are not too dissimilar. I mean, they have the same structure, structure of um, teachers, teachings, books and philosophies. I mean, all in all, they're pretty much the same in structure. Yes, the structure is similar, but the beliefs are very different, as you said. And the life. Religions follow very strict rules, some of them. But science does not have any rules. Well, admittedly, science can't answer all the questions, but in a few centuries, a few millennium, millenniums, even a few years, perhaps, science will be able to answer them. And saying the answer is, God did it, is like saying, yeah, I knew the answer, but I couldn't be bothered to write it down. You know, it's just pointless. But that is what some people choose to believe in. Well, that's their decision. Maybe it's just what you believe in. No. One last thought comes from Erin, who's found an interesting way of demonstrating our knowledge of science against religion. Now, forever and always, when science has been unable to explain something, religion has stepped in to help. This can be shown in an onion. An onion has layers, science, religion, science, religion, etc. We hope that one day we can get to an understanding of our universe and find out what the core really is, science or religion. In conclusion to the question, are religion and science compatible? We believe that it completely depends on the religious beliefs of the person and the development of the society that they live in. Every person has a unique opinion and we hope that throughout this film you've been able to come to your own decision. Thank you for watching.